Hello everyone, my name is AJ. I work with customer success at Gather and I will be showing you our dashboard. So right here when you log in to the main Gather page, you will notice you'll be taken to what we call our dashboard page, which this is gonna give you a quick view of all of your different options. This is your home page, if you would like to call it that, to Gather. And I'll start at the top and work down. So you'll notice your, you'll see that your funeral home logo will be there. And then over here to the very top left, you're going to notice you have your viewing options for your cases. So right now I have all viewing options open and all I have to do is click on the bar for the associated case type and it will take away any case right now. I'm hiding any case that I don't want to see that's related to that. So I have everything turned off. So as you notice, everything disappeared here for me. And if I want to only see at need, for example, I'll just click there and any at need cases I have will show up. And then also you'll notice it will show you in relation to what you have selected to view, the number of active at need cases that I have. And then also I get to see a financial view if you have the access to this for your financials. So I get to see how much has been collected, what percentage and what amount. And that just gives me a quick view to let me know where things are at for the month. And then over here to the right hand side of that, I have a quick view for all cases and helpers viewing your Rolodex, and also viewing your reports. And then I'll move on down here. You get to see any helpers that you have and uh, team members that have associated tasks with a case. You literally can see them right here, and all I have to do is click on that person, and I will be able to go right to the case that they're associated with. And then uh, moving right on, right along here, uh, if you look over here, we have what we call our case cards, which this is a quick view of the case, and it's going to have a lot of your important information right here as far as how many tasks have been completed, how many helpers have accepted and been invited, um, what the contract is, the percent collected on the contract, any signature packets that you need family signatures that have been sent out and what the status of those is. And then even just the death certificate, how much of that has been filled out, the obituary, photos, and any events that you've scheduled for this particular case. It's all right here in one section. And then um, these are also organized. You can organize them by case number and date of death. And there's multiple ways to view what you see first. So usually it's the newest first, and it will show you up to your top six. And then you have the ability to load more um, over here on the side. And then you'll also notice those same viewing options we saw at the top here are also available over here on our right hand side. So this gives you the option to no matter what your workflow is to have those options there for you quickly to access. And then over here on the very far left, you're gonna notice there is a search filter, which this will probably be what you use the most when you're looking for cases and you need to find something quickly. So all I have to do here is, for example, let me open up all of our uh, options. I can just type in a name, I'll type in Clark, and I don't even have to type in the full name as I start typing it automatically starts auto-populating any case that's associated with what I'm typing in. And I can see all my options there. And then I'll try one more. We'll do Marilyn. And you'll see the same thing is happening for that. So it's just a nice way to quickly access my cases. And then if we move on down here, you're going to notice you have the create case icon where you can hit that and it's going to take you to our creating a case, which you just need to know what kind of case it is, uh, the first and last name, and then the date of passing if it is an at need case. And then if you have multiple funeral directors or staff, you would just assign who is going to be in charge of that case. All right, and then same with our one-off transaction, we have a quick option here, which this allows us to uh, quickly access if it's an existing case or if it's just a, a one-off transaction for a purchase, and you can enter that in right there as well. And then also you'll notice here you have the ability to select viewing options as far as your director view and the family view. So family view is what only the family has options to seeing, and then the director view is access to what the funeral home has to see. And under here, we have a quick option to access our notes and our signature packets. Okay, so our notes, so any notes we've added to a case and information that we want our staff to know or even just to take note that the family has told us that you want to enter in to a particular case, you can find that here quickly and you even have the ability to filter and search for there. And then the same thing with your signature packets. So any auto forms that you've entered into Gather that you have the ability to digitally send and have family members sign. And then also you can print those out and have them sign it physically. You can track all of that here and see 
what's what's the status of every packet and what's been sent out, what's been started, what's been um, viewed, all of those different options here. You, you get an idea uh, all in one spot. And then moving on down here, you're going to notice over here in the corner on the right hand bottom side, you have this plus circle icon. And this is a quick view to the quick most used options like creating a case. Also, you have the contact to our support team, our customer success team, and we'll be here to help you and support you. So feel free to call and you can text if you have that ability as well. And we will make sure to respond as soon as possible. And then also you have a chat option. If you're not able to call or text, you can chat in and we'll be happy to answer your question there as well. And then you also have your global search, which is the Rolodex option, which allows you to search for any Rolodex entries that you have. Okay, so that's the quick view of the dashboard and we will talk to you later.